Mirror shield and boomerang in the in the seed hash. Is that a good sign? And child start. Okay, starting in the shop. Uh, Highland shield. Uh, let me see how many rupees that is. Okay. Cheeky cheeky ring. Nice. Let me actually check. MQ, okay, GDG's MQ, Gans Castle's normal. From the well has magic. Nice. Can get a few free checks here. Can you it? But it's still worth adult wallet. Adaboski. Bottle. Play trail always loaded. I'll you know it's a it's a cost that I'm willing to accept. Uh, if all dungeons are vanilla, there's six ice traps. With Master Quest dungeons mixed in, it can be between five and seven. Oh my god, I'm rich. Or I can be rich. Can it's cast piece, nice. Really? Zelda actually throws an ocarina, vanilla. Am I tired of rando yet? I was actually close to getting tired of rando before I did- before I switched to boss keys in dungeons. Um, cause I was starting to get a lot of samey seeds. And once I did that, the seeds have all been like way better. Fire rose. 40 rupees. What? It's 90. What a ripoff. Okay, so GTG's spirit. 30 skulls, neighbors love. Final Frog's bed. Worst save load for Adult Link? Uh, I think there's not really that many bad places for Adult Link to spawn. Um, but I guess the worst one would probably be Ganon's castle. Or not, outside Ganon's castle. Uh, yeah, let me just save work. Outside Ganon's castle is kind of bad because if you don't want it to be night, it automatically makes it night. Or, But sometimes you also do want it to be night. Desert's not too bad because you can actually get thrown out. Okay, so that was nothing. You can you can get thrown out to uh, Gerudo Valley by the Gerudos as an adult. I wouldn't really say there's like a most inconvenient place to spawn bomb bag, nice, as an adult. Because um, honestly... Most places, you have something interesting you can do. Like Zora's Domain, you can go check Ice Cavern earlier. Bomb of the Well has Hookshot. Okay, Bomb of the Well has Hookshot and Magic. But I need to go to Bomb of the Well as quickly as possible. Rose Wind, nice. I was worried that wasn't gonna work. Bolero, nice. Power boots. This is a very nice seed so far. What's up there? Ocarina, thank you. Deku, uh, I'll come back in a sec. Let me get the Ocarina first. Or wait, do I? Yeah, er, yeah. Okay, it's. I can come back for. Deku very soon. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to end it. I'm gonna have to uh, fall down. Choose. Ocarina. Nice. Okay, I'm not going to do too much in Deku Tree. I'm basically just going to go straight to the boss. Uh, I don't even think I can check the... Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Baronade? Baronade's fine. It's, it's early on. Boss knowledge is important right now. And I know I'm going to have to come back here anyway. 
My Sarah's. Boomerang, nice. Hey, considering... First of all, don't save the baby seed yet. You know what happens when you call baby seed too early. Second of all, I think considering the seeds I've been getting lately, I think I'm okay with a baby seed every now and then. Okay, so I can just check this and... Um... Bolero out. DC, okay, no, I don't even want to Bolero out. I want to check this. M2. I feel like I should just get it just in case. Like I forgot or something. Sorry, a song. I'm getting all the songs. Slingshot. Okay, I think I'm not gonna check all of DC right now. I think I'm gonna cut it short and just check the lower part here. Just because I think upper stuff would be better if I have more equipment. I'll come back soon though. I just need, like, shield, mostly, I guess. But I probably should just beat the boss right now. Another boss key already? Wow. Alright, this might be a true baby seed. Can't say for sure yet, but I am doing well with the Eclipse. Is that Gerudo card? Gerudo card, yeah. Okay, I can't get it right now, but good to know. Actually, I should probably farm bombs. Excuse me? I am mad. I mean, you can set it to all MQ dungeons, but... I have it set to random dungeons, so sometimes it'll be MQ, sometimes it'll be Master Quest. Uh, I don't think this is worth it. I'll, I'm gonna give this like one quick try. Actually, especially not with without shield. I really shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, let me just get out. Boss of DC is Morpha. Randomized warp song locations, not to these settings, not to the settings I would do frequently. I don't think I've gotten all songs before Ocarina of Magic. I haven't gotten all songs before Ocarina before, but I've gotten very many. I think there was a seed where I got like 10 songs before Ocarina. Alright, so I can finally buy the stupid shield. Uh, I might want to go back to Ganon's castle. Yeah. There's a weird egg. That's good. Oh, wait. Yeah, I went back to the forest grotto for the other scrubs. Gorn Trinic 110. That's worth. Boomerang. If I got Dins, I could use Boomerang. But I need a bomb to do it, so I gotta be careful. Ice Caverns Vanilla. Uh, if Ice Caverns Vanilla, I think I'm better off checking Jabu first, because I'm not likely to get a bomb refill. If it was Master Quest, Master Quest, uh, Ice Cavern actually has bomb refill pots. So I'd actually probably just do it if it was Master Quest. BTG MQ, it's a good one. Okay, I think I'll leave here for now. Okay, now I think I'll do Ice Cavern. No, if Bomb of the Wolves in Ganon's Castle, that's definitely bad, but it is possible to avoid warp. Well, first of all, it depends on if it's MQ or vanilla. If it's MQ, I can just weird shot in. Uh, if it is vanilla, um, actually, wait, what item did I just get? Scale, scale, that's it. If it's Vanilla Bomb of the Well in Ganon's Castle, then what I need to do is Void Warp in. Which sucks, but is completely doable. Uh, 
that's doable. You know what? Be right back. Wow, that's bad. I'm gonna check this first. Cause when I get the when I get that, I'm gonna void out. So I'm gonna check this first, go back down, and then when I void out, it'll give me a free exit. Okay, I got some shoes back. No, if you don't mash out of um oh god. Okay, cool. That was a complete that was not what I wanted. Uh now this is a disaster. All right. That was Fireball Ski, I think. Yeah. Come on, dude. Dude? Dude? Okay. Um, where am I going? Just Water Temple. Yeah. Water's water, and I have the boss key, and Q. No, it's vanilla. Never mind. I uh, do not have mirror shield. Uh, no, I should just save warp. Or, yeah. I was I was thinking of OIing out, but no, save warp's better. I think. That's really bad. Uh, how did I fail it, dude? Please land. No. Okay. Well, that's terrible. That really sucks. That's actually... That's four checks I'm missing out on. Two, two Skulltulas here, two Skulltulas in Grey Fortress. Oh well. How did I screw that up, dude? It's so easy to. Actually, if I'm here, I could at least do this. Are you serious? I didn't think that could happen. I didn't think you could overshoot it with a mega flip. Well, this is going terribly. Dude, doing everything in Gerda Valley as a doll is hard. Spirit and Q. I have a lot of keys at least. Oh wait, I already, I already knew this was Spirit, I forgot. I got a hint for this. Bomb bag. Um, can I do... I can do a little bit here. Yeah. Wait, what? Where'd the shoe go? Is this not a straight line? What? What is... <laughs> okay, I'll check it after. Alright, there is some wonky collision there. I did not know about that. Uh, remind me at the end of the rando to check out what's going on there. Is that Kikiri Sword? This is especially annoying because I don't have a lot of shoes. Uh, no, I mean real bow. I can equip fire and ice arrows, but I can't use arrows without the actual bow. We go on sword, that's nice. That's annoying because I have QPA. So now I have to get annoying ISG like that. Okay, I think from here I just save warp. Okay, I'm gonna check shadow first. 
just because um, if I go to bomb the well entrance and then like find strength or something, it's gonna be annoying. So while I confirm don't have strength, I should do this. It's either here, uh, actual bomb of the well, uh, forest temple, or Ganon's castle. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a hint for Ganon's castle entrance yet. Usually that's hinted at. Shadow is fire. Fire MQ. Well, the good thing about fire is I have a boss key, so I can at least beat a dungeon, hopefully. Wow. Not lucky with my boss my boss findings today. Alright, so fire MQ, bosses, Wadia. So of the four bosses I've found, I found three of the bosses that I found all three bosses that require um the one time item. And I found Morpha without hookshot, and I didn't feel like doing hookshot with Morpha. Rainbow Bridge leads to bottom of the well. Oh boy. So, child cannot enter bottom of the well, which means that I am required to do void warp into bottom of the well in order to get hookshot. Or I could avoid hookshot. And honestly, I am not sure which one's the better option right now. Spirit dive, yeah, I'm gonna have to do alternative spirit dive. Forest Temple, uh, Forest MQ. I have some keys, although I don't know if it's a good idea to check it right now. Actually, I have Hover Boots. Uh, yeah, I'll check some of the Forest MQ right now. What do I want to do? Is Bomb Ball required? I don't know. My Hookshot is there. Hookshot is not necessarily an absolutely re required item. Yeah, I can't wait for Ganondorf to say lighter as we're in Bomb of the Well. Okay, so like, I, I I feel like, uh, I feel like the optimal play here is just skip Bomb of the Well. But I feel like the more interesting one would be do the Void Warp. Oh, actually, wait, I don't even know if I can do the Void Warp right now. Because I need to get to the main room of Bomb of the Well. Uh, how would I actually do it? Oh. No, I did not want to fall down. Okay, here, I can frozen back up. I wanted to kill the skull because I need a target in that direction and him being alive would ruin it. Today's not a good day, huh? Man, chat's, chat's opinion of this seed sure has changed in the last hour. Went from, oh man, baby seed to, man, what a rough seed, huh? Crazy how things change like that. It's almost like you shouldn't judge it by the first 30 minutes. I'm being mean. I am just telling you guys what you need to hear even if you don't want to hear it. I think it's time to leave. Um, where do I want to go? Uh, I think child now. Or do I go to bomb the well? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do bomb the well void warp. It's probably not a good idea. Or wait. Can I? Is it? Wait, is this a good idea? No, I can't even do it. Or wait, can I? Wait, uh, hold on. Okay, the method that I was thinking of is definitely not gonna work, but I think there's an alternative. I think I can't do it because of spirit, hold on. Okay, there's one method that I could do that would work in either MQ or vanilla that I can't do because I don't have hookshot. And there's one that works, I think, only with the vanilla spirit temple, hold on. There's like a bunch of different ones, but I think multiple of them need hookshot. And then one that doesn't need hookshot needs vanilla spirit temple. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to child. Yeah, the seed's fun so far. Yeah, I, I like having unique situations. Actually, since I know bottom of the well can't be done as child, I don't have to worry about not equipping sword for uh, blank A. Gotta remind me about Bomb the Well having magic. I mean, thank god I found magic somewhere else. If I didn't find magic yet, I'd be panicking about Bomb the Well. 
Oh, I just had an idea. Okay, I think I know how to do a bomb the wall thing now. I just, I thought about it again for a sec, and I think I know what I can do for bomb the wall now. It's not that complicated, but you guys aren't gonna get it. I'll explain it anyway. Okay, so the reason I was talking about how like, because I have Spirit Temple, I can't do it. The Void Warp is specifically um, with the Void below the Silver Block at the very beginning. And an MQ that Silver Block is replaced with the Water Jet, and I'm 90% sure you can't Void Warp off the Water Jet. But what I could still do is hover to the room above, and the room above has the same Void. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would be a, a one frame Void Warp. That was That's only possible in Rando because of Quick Text. But I think if I hover to the room above, I, and I use the void in the room above, it should work. Because that way it also doesn't reset my entrance point. My entrance point will still stay at the beginning of Spirit Temple. So, um, I might be able to do that. I don't get it, so I'm just gonna call it cringe. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I'm basically just gonna do the void warp from above. Like, normally it'd be done in the main room, or first room of Spirit Temple. And I would just do it in the room above, like the shortcut room. Strength. Who's about to win big time? Or win a moderate amount because it was probably a very highly picked option and so the odds probably weren't very good. Or like good odds, but not like high payout odds. Oh, so speaking of Void Warps, uh, because I don't have Lullaby, but I do have Shadow Boss Key, Shadow Void Warp is on the table right now. Sun Song, that's super worth. Oh, since I'm probably gonna have to go back to Spirit multiple times for these Void Warps, I probably really want Gerudo card. I'm probably gonna want to go into DC's Child and grab that with Boomerang. No. <laughs> Mirror shield. That's very good. Alright, so that gets me for beating Water Temple. Okay, this seed is... The more I'm starting to think about it, the more I'm seeing that this seed is very bad. Vanilla Spirit Temple, but I have Master Quest Spirit Temple. But I think I might have an alternative anyway that I can still do in Master Quest Spirit Temple. That I need to try, but I'm not 100% sure on yet. Wait, is the door to the boss still open? Please tell me it is. I hate this game. Oh my god, and I have to go through this whole room normally. This room normally sucks. Maybe it isn't a good idea to do Hookshot with Morpha. I don't know. I don't... I'm like bouncing between. I'm not sure if I want to skip Hookshot or... Or do the Void Warp. I can't decide. Dude. Wait, what? Shouldn't that have been the last one? Did I not do a Degasic jump slash in one of the hits? Okay. Yeah, sticks is double damage than sword. Same damage as Master Sword. First it was not Degasic jump slash sword. Okay, I'm done. Silvers. Dude, that one always gets me because he's completely invisible from the darkness. That's like the most well camouflaged enemy of all time. I knew he was there too. It's not like I forgot he was there. I was like, Wait, I was thinking like, wait, am I avoiding him properly? But no, of course not. Literally Batman. Useless hints? No. I like... I like useful hints. Oh, 
Okay, what bosses bosses that I found? I found Baronade, Morpha, Twinrobo, Volvagia. Bosses that I haven't found. I need to think about what boss that could be in Jabu. Uh, it could be KD, Goma, Phantom Ganon, or Bongo. All those are fine for Child. So yeah, Child shouldn't have an issue with whatever boss I find in Jabu. Okay, I, in GTG I can get like three more checks I think that I couldn't check earlier. Lighters. No, it's not go mode. Not go mode unless I find one more boss key or hammer. And even then, uh, I'm in uncomfortable go mode. Uh, yeah, save warp out. Or actually, wait. No, not even save warp out. Just void out. Rare mini boss fight, yeah. Surprisingly, I did this twice in a or two days in a row now. Yeah, I have I have shown the uh, cow in the box room. I was actually thinking I might might make that a uh, short. I'm thinking of making a bunch of TikToks for dumb MQ stuff. Yes, the news in the news ESG TikToks. Boski. Spirit boss key. Okay, this is very good. Okay, I believe I should be in go mode. So this means the boss of Spirit Temple. So the boss of Spirit Temple must be King Jodongo, Phantom Ganon, or Bongo. All of which I can beat. I can also beat Winroba now, which is the boss of Water Temple. Water Temple is Water Temple. I need to beat to beat Shadow Temple, I need to do Void Warp. So Shadow is Forest Temple. I have to hover to Forest Temple, so... Alright, so my route should be go to Forest Temple, uh, set Forest Wind in Shadow Temple, go to Spirit, beat Spirit, Void Warp to Shadow after beating it. Okay. Why am I hovering? Because I don't have Hookshot. Oh wait, I don't even know if this is MQ or Vanilla, or does it matter if it's MQ or Vanilla? I don't think that it does. Vanilla. Okay, so set for us, win in there, go to Water Temple, and go beat Twinrova. Then go to GTG, which is Spirit Temple. I need a little bit of water. After this, I go to GTG, which is Spirit Temple, beat Spirit, then Void Warped Shadow. So yeah, this is looking like a hookshot with seed. Yeah, this is uh, the big boo, or I think it's this, it's both big boo, merry-go-round, and uh, music box in MM. I think it uses the same song, or it's just very similar. I forgot, is it the same or just similar? Just similar, okay. But yeah, I think specific, more specifically, this is the MM. MM1. Okay, twin robot down. Wait a second. What am I doing for Spirit Temple? Uh, hold on a sec. I may not have thought Spirit Temple through. I may have to do Spirit Hover. I should be fine if I do Spirit Hover. Yeah, I have to do Spirit Hover because I don't have Hookshot. If I had Hookshot, I could just enter Spirit normally, but no, I have to do Spirit Hover just because of no Hookshot. How do I Spirit Hover without Hookshot though? It's annoying, but it's doable. No, I can't do hover block skip because the only way past that room is a weird shot with hookshot to hookshot a chest. And I don't have hookshot. I mean, I could void warp to, to bomb the well, but at this point, I'm fairly sure just doing the seed hookshot list is better. This is not going to be super fun. Seriously? Setting down a chew manually in the middle of a chew hover is the worst.
As soon as I turned around, I had a feeling it was a bad idea to not have killed the Goy first. I think this is good. Uh, wait, uh, okay, I need to do this. Okay, I'm pretty close. Okay, I have five keys, right? So, hold on, I need to think about this. Okay, so I, if I go down to the main room, I can enter the boss door, that's fine. When I respawn, it'll be in GTG. Then I can enter normally from the bottom, and then I can void up to shadow. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Lighter was in GTG. Is that storms? It's really now re enter GTG. Now I just have to do the void warp. Save now, yeah, I'll save right before the void warp. I really don't need to, but might as well. Wow, cool. In case of something stupid, I can't see any reason why I would possibly need this, but just in case. Gold scale. That wasn't on Gamba, was it? All right, and Ganon's castle is Deku Tree. There's Ganon boss key. Surprised the seed didn't take longer. Yeah, it definitely could have. I think it, um, I, I got lucky in getting the spirit boss key relatively quickly, I think, and giving me an out for, and like confirming that I didn't have to get hookshot. Although I actually am gonna experiment with trying to get hookshot. Or like see if my hookshot idea will work. Wait, why am I- why did I do that? At least I have that fairy back from when I thought I was gonna use it in Jabu. Or no, for Morpha. I like- I got mixed up. Really. Dude! Okay, wait, you know what happened there? Okay, hold on, let me explain what just happened. <laughs> when you revive from a fairy, uh, there's a certain amount of time where you won't take knockback, but you will take damage. I was getting hit by the Iron Knuckles axe while I was getting revived, and so it was doing extra damage to me, like, per frame. And so I got damaged down, like, super, super badly, like, really quickly. Okay, I don't know why. I was, like, for some reason thinking I was mixing up Master Sword and Big One Sword setups. Yeah, I'm gonna try the Chu thing in Spirit after. Actually, I have two things to check. I have to check the that Chu collision wall in Spirit. And also, um, the, uh, Void Warp idea. No Logic November announcement up in OT Grandmas with Discord. Alright, I'll check that out. Alright, cool. What a weird seed. I feel like this seed could have actually been a lot faster if I, like, didn't... Bottom of the well... Honestly, I wish I never got a hint for hookshot. The more that I think about it, I think if I never got the hookshot hint, I would have finished the seed way faster. But like knowing that hookshot was in Bomb of the Well made me search for Bomb of the Well for a super long time. And then when I found Bomb of the Well, I had to think about Void Warp stuff. And then I just ended up not going there anyway. Knowledge is dangerous. Yeah, sometimes knowledge is actually bad. Usually it's good and it's interesting, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where the other hookshot was.
All right, let's check spoiler log, and we'll see what was really in Bomb of the Well. See if Bomb of the Well was loaded or just hookshot in magic. Actually, you know what would have been really dangerous if I if I did still get the hookshot hint and I never got the and I never got magic. If I got the hookshot hint and the magic hint, but I never got the other magic. Oh my god, this would have been a five-hour seed. Actually, no, because I, I would have just done the void warp much earlier, or I think I would. I need to test the void warp in a sec. All right, hammer. Hammer was in bomb of the well, of course. Uh, magic meter, hookshot. Yeah, I think that counts as a loaded bomb of the well. Oh, was it underwater too? So it was ZL locked. Oh no. Or no, hammer was. Hammer was ZL locked. Oh no, hammer and hookshot were both ZL locked. Oh my god. Other hookshot was spirit compass. Okay, spirit compass is. Which one is that? It's the chest I passed. <laughs> I think that chest I passed in spirit was compass. Or wait, is that the compass chest? I mean, that if I got it, it literally would not have helped. Although, I could have theoretically gotten it earlier. Spirit Temple Mirror Shield Chest. Oh, Lullaby was on the other hand, okay. Oh, no, 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 I'm thinking of the wrong chest. Compass Chest is... Okay, Compass Chest is the one in the main room of Spirit Temple. So, I could have got that uh, when I was going to the Spirit Temple boss when I got in the, in the main statue room. But at that point, it was pointless. Okay, so Spirit and Bomb the Well were both kind of loaded. Uh, where was the last boss key? Forest boss key, I think, right? Shadow Temple boss key chest, okay. Okay, well, let me go try the Void Warp thing. I need to go see if the Void Warp would have worked out the way I think. Yeah, other hookshot was uh, Spirit Temple compass chest, which is in the main room, the statue room of Spirit Temple MQ. So I pretty much couldn't have gotten it until I was about to go to the spirit boss. Okay, real quick, I guess I'll just check this chest. If it was this chest or the main room chest. Yeah, so it's the main room chest. Okay. Okay. So I'm in this room. I can't. These blocks are here. Wait, can I push this? That's worse. No, 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 that's not That's not a pug. That means I couldn't void warp here. Unless, okay, actually wait, no. I could have void warped here, but it'd be even worse. So instead of, no, I can't because the platform isn't here. Okay, so what I would have had to do is, uh, so this actually would have been a faster way to the main room at least. So I guess if I was thinking, you know, just go to the main room, then I actually should have done this other than, cause I, I was thinking, uh, for some reason I was thinking that this block was here, not this block. Okay, so in MQ, the way I would have had to do this to Void Warp to Bomb of the Well, I would have had to do a ground clip here, which I did yesterday, but the ground clip setup involves stepping on the elevator, which is not here in MQ. Yeah, you go through the room the opposite direction, so I, I forgot how it worked, yeah. But yeah, so the setup for the ground clip uh, steps on the elevator, which it doesn't in MQ. So I would have had to make up a setup, a new different setup for this ground clip. Ground clip to the other side, uh, and then void warp from like this ledge, which I don't even know. Okay, now I'll actually test it in GZ to see if this would have worked. So let's see, theoretically, if I could void warp here, if this will work. Yeah, ran well, random quick text is kind of an issue for testing, but thank you for reminding me. All I have to do is just turn on the quick text cheat. Oh, wait, this this is too low. This is even too low for quick text. Never mind. All right, so that voids out of the question. So the way I would have done it normally if I had vanilla uh, spirit is this. This should definitely work. This should be like the standard way. Oh no, no, this one doesn't work because it's it's an entrance point void or uh yeah. This. You have to void out of bounds like this. I forgot. 
Oh, so then the thing in the, in the upper room wouldn't have worked anyway, even if it did, even though it did have time for Furrow's Wind. I forgot, I need to void um, over actual out of bounds. No, you can't hover to give yourself more time because then you won't actually be able to do the void warp. Like, it won't get you close enough. Okay, yeah. So this is how it would have been. But I couldn't do it in MQ, or at least I don't think I could do it in MQ spirit. I could... Let me go test real quick if I can void warp off of the water jet. I'm pretty sure you can't, but just to check. No, I don't think so. No. All right, what's going on with the collision here? Is that... Is it the collision of the room above reaching into this room? It is. That's why. <laughs> this is the void from above. <laughs> Oops. You know what? I guess it makes sense because this is what we use in uh, in Hundo SRM because we like touch the ceiling. So it's this this void box. Because we touched the ceiling to void it here in Hundo SRM, although I always thought it was just like close enough to the ceiling that it counted. I didn't actually realize it reached into the room. So yeah, very cool. But anyway, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will go now. Goodbye. <laughs>